Do you struggle picking up correct leads? Do you struggle trying to figure out what lead you're on when you're up in the tack? Do you ever ride with a friend in the warm-up pen and they ask you, hey, will you watch me? Can you tell me what lead I'm on? And you're absolutely clueless because you have no idea what they're talking about. Well, in this video, I'm gonna try to demonstrate for you how to pick up and find the correct lead without looking down over the horse's shoulder. This is Top Gun's two-step I'm riding. I've had a handful of rides on him again since I've gotten back on him. He's had five months off. He was my two-year-old ranch horse versatility futurity winner last year. And we're gonna do our best to demonstrate for you how to pick up the correct lead. So stick around. This one's gonna be a fun one to watch. I'm going to start by picking up the incorrect lead or the false lead as I take him to the left. So I'll be picking up his right lead. I'm going to post on the correct diagonal to start and I push his hip to the outside of the circle and tip his nose to the inside. As he lopes around, my inside leg is going to stay solid on his side back by the cinch. Meanwhile, my right leg will support but open up that door to him to take the right lead. The front leg that reaches out the furthest is going to indicate what lead he's on, okay? But I'm going to save cross-firing for another conversation just to avoid confusion. So I break him down to a trot, and now I pick up the left lead going to the left, all right? I'm going to hold really hard with this outside leg back by that back cinch to keep that hip to the inside. Can you see the difference in where the hip is placed now compared to what it was when I was loping on the incorrect lead in the beginning. I go ahead and let him lope that full circle, let him come to a stop, catch his breath, and play game over. Okay, let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison, a picture from behind, of what his hind end is doing and what the footfall looks like when he's on the correct lead versus the wrong lead. Now, when he's going on the right lead, you see the hip is to the outside and that hind right foot is reaching to the outside. When he's on the left lead, his body is arced to the left, he's reaching forward with that front left foot and he's reaching forward with that inside hind. So here's another quick example of what it feels like in your body when you're out of the tack. It's like scooting with that left front foot while the right one stays behind. To take the right lead, it's going to scoot forward and hop while the left one hangs back. That's the feeling in your body. And this is an over-exaggeration, but when you try this feel on the ground, you will feel it when you lope in the tack. So here's again on the left lead. And this is what it was when we were going around correctly to the left. Now, let's look at it again, going the opposite direction, picking up the correct and incorrect lead. I'm gonna take him around to the right now and we're gonna pick up the left lead. I'm posting on the incorrect diagonal at this point to pick up this left lead. I'm gonna kick his hip over because the hip is the driving force. We pick up the left lead, so we're on the false lead or the counter canter as we lope around this arena. I take my right leg really far back towards that cinch to push that hip around because that hip has to drive that lead. He really is fighting me, he's getting mad. You're gonna see some heads shaking here and some swinging. He knows he's incorrect at this point as I go around. I keep on pushing him with that inside leg. I gallop with my hands and the leading leg, which is that front left leg, is reaching out further than his right one as we go around. So I break down to a trot and I pick up the right lead going this direction. I'm gonna support him with my outside leg holding it solid on his body, supporting it back towards the back cinch while the inside leg is still supporting, but that's the one that's making that skipping motion. That's how I know that this horse is on his right lead. You'll see the rise and fall of that leg in this stirrup, just the tiniest little bit as I go around. Here's a really nice shot of the elevation of that leg. I got some bend to my knee and some bend to my ankle as I come around here. Try to avoid looking down to check your leads. The reason is, is because it drops your shoulders, it allows your weight to lean forward, and it really affects your posture and affects the weight distribution on your horse and sends them mixed signals. So you don't ever want to look down to try to find your lead. I'm going to go ahead and call it a ride with that and dismount him right here for being such a good sport. Thank you for watching. Share this with your friends, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.